party, and we are looking at the first event on the track for the 2018 championship. First event today on the track, we made 10,000 last evening. It is a women's 1500. The women are starting to get their final stride outs here on the back stretch. All-time record held back champion and uh, distance monster here, aerobic monster I think you can call her, but uh, hopping down into the 1500 this weekend. She's been a little banged up this season, but uh, we'll see where her wheels live. Did not take place in the 10K last night. There's a quick glimpse of our schedule tonight, as you can see. A lot of prelims rolling from 4.30 all the way to 7.40 when we will have our two finals of the night, men's and women's steeplechase. So the name of the game today is uh, Survive in Advance. I will try to give you guys updates on uh, the last time out coming out of the first sections. In the 1500, we're going to go top four plus four. So it's four plus four, so the top four in each heat Plus, the next four times will advance to tomorrow's final. The sections have about 10 to 11 girls. And so we're going to get rid of about half the field here with these prelims. The gun is up. The the final line. instructions here, and gun is up. Ready to roll here. West Championships. Section one, women's 1500 meter run. And we are off here in section one. We have Newman of Utah State, Hamilton of Wyoming, Weiler of New Mexico, Ostrander of Boise State, Kalati of New Mexico, Wellnemeyer of UNLV, Nevesa of Air Force, Maloney of Utah State, Ward of Colorado State, and Eskin of UNLV. So Kalati was listed as a starter. Doesn't look like she is going to be taking part today. She did run the 10K last night. Nice second place performance. I get a reminder here, four plus four, make it through to tomorrow's final. Up front right now, that would be Colorado State's Dominique Ward, the senior moving well. And on the inside rail is Tylee Newman, the senior out of Utah State. Ostrander slides in behind them in third. Really just feeling things out here. These, these, these will be tactical races, folks. Moving pretty slow here through the opening 300. Right on 60 seconds, 60 flat for the opening 300. So this is shaping up to be a kicker's race. We'll see who has that. A couple freshmen in this race. It actually, looks like it's only Wellnemeyer from UNLV, the freshman. Hip 10 moving up well. Sorry, your 400 meter split was about 80. 80 for 400. And it looks like it's starting to pick up there. They heard that 80 second split. They knew that was a little silly. So uh, looks like we're going to pick it up just a little bit here. Wellnemeyer, that freshman on the outside there for UNLV, and trying to make a, trying to inject some pace here. Another Utah State athlete. So I believe that's Maloney there on the outside. Again, hip nine is Ward for Colorado State. Hip one is Tylee Newman for Utah State. Also tucked in on the inside for Wyoming is Hamilton. Well, Meyer moving well on the outside, positioning herself well. Coming through with 800 meters to go, we're at 218. 218 with 800 to go. And now Ostrander to the front. Ostrander maybe didn't want to leave this thing too late. I don't know if Ostrander has the, the top end speed. That would uh, make for an easy race here. 236-ish, 236-ish through 800. So they did pick it up on that last lap. Cut it down by about four seconds. Now Ostrander starting to uh, Put some daylight and stirring things out a little bit. Newman's going to try to go with Allie. And third there is still Ward of Colorado State. Ostrander 
Looks like five women have broken away here. Again, it's four plus four to advance to tomorrow's final. Things are starting to pick up here. Newman pressing on the shoulder of Ostrander. So only one, only one of these girls, or one of these girls isn't gonna have an auto spot. Who's it gonna be? Air Force moving up very well there. Hip seven, that is Vessa. Vessa making a big move on the outside. Bell lap 330. We're 330 with one lap to go. Vessa, Ostrander, Newman, going one, two, three. Last auto spot currently being held by Ward. They're starting to roll down there on the back stretch. A little bit of a breeze. They're into the wind a little bit on that back stretch. A good battle between the top four right now. Ostrander, a slight edge on the inside there. Newman trying to hang on to her heels. Vessa pumping. 200 meters to go. We were just at about 405, 404 ish. And now, yeah, they're rolling now. Ostrander with a gap. Newman going with. Ward hanging on to third there. Vessa starting to get kicked out the back. Only four of these women get, the, get an auto spot, so it's going to be tight. We're going to have to keep an eye on the clock here. It's Ostrander and Newman. They're locked in for a spot tomorrow. Wyoming closing well with Hamilton, but Ostrander is going to win this section at 436. Vessa ended up being fifth. So she is on the bubble right now. We'll wait for officials here and see uh, what that fourth place time was. So 4.38 is currently the bubble time. Waiting on uh, that fifth place score. It looks like it's 440, 22, 440 for Vesa. We'll see. Uh, we will see if that's um, if that'll hold up through the second round.